Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. <laughs> I don't know why I did all of that. <laughs> why I didn't just say hello like a normal sane person, but okay. Here we are. <laughs> so I've been um I've been trying to go back and forth between YouTube and Twitch, and I'm still playing around with YouTube streaming. Um, we started our playthrough of Kirby and the Forgotten Land over on Twitch. Um, I'm going to continue streaming on Twitch, I think, in the afternoons. I think it's going to be one of those things where that's my weekly Monday through Friday time slot. And then I think on the weekends, I'm going to pick up streaming on YouTube. And we'll see how that goes. Today, we have a wee bit of a task uh, of catching Snorlax here. I can get my brain to work correctly. Okay, we need Poke Gear. We need the radio. No, we want the Poke Flute. But you guys know me. You know I like to tinker. You know that I like to play around with stuff in the Discord. I like to play around with stuff with the stream. I very much want to find a um, a sweet spot between Twitch and YouTube, you know? Let's see. Thunder. Giga Empire. Wow. I'm surprised it didn't use rest. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 blum, blum. <laughs> you must recharge. Wait, he has to recharge after Giga Impact? Okay. I guess that, I guess that was the case for Giga Impact, wasn't it? I don't remember that. can no longer escape, Ampharos. How about signal beam? So the struggle we're going to have with Snorlax here is the fact that no matter what we do, no matter how much damage we deal, big guy can just go to sleep and heal. And I didn't mean for that to rhyme. That just kind of worked out that way. See, now all he's got to do is use rest, and then the paralysis will go away. There is a way that you can actually imprint your abilities onto other Pokemon. I don't remember what it's called, but I know there's a way to swap abilities. Mm. Skill swap stuff like that. We could get maybe a Snorlax, or we can get maybe a Slowpoke that has Insomnia, or something, and then use Skill Swap 
Then what's he gonna do? We have seven heavy balls. And he's probably gonna break out of all seven. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Look, motherfucker. We want this to be ex aesthetically pleasing. You get your fat ass in that ball and stop healing. I'm not above using an ultra ball. starting to heal up too much he's back in the green sound is up. That's not going to be good. <laughs> I opened the stream on my phone to see if anybody was in chat. Because sometimes chat will just be broken and not show up in stream labs. I've had that happen before. People will be here chatting. And I won't see it. Hmm. Yay! <laughs> We got our big guy and a call from Tully. Wait, does this mean now that we fix the power plant, we can go get the rail pass and go back to, back and forth between Johto and Kanto really easily? Yeah, I, uh, I did uh, the Kirby stream yesterday, which was Friday, and then uh, today I actually sat down and did a little bit of cat lateral damage, a game that I've apparently not played on the channel in five years. I did an episode of it and walked away. I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that it's one of those games that like makes me motion sick if I play it for about 30 to 45 minutes. Because mm. it started to happen again today. I, I think I made about 50 minutes in and I started to feel real nauseous, so I had to bail. But uh, that happened with Power Wash Simulator 2. Like, I really want to play that. I want to cover it. But there are just, unfortunately, are some games that make me a little sick to my stomach. And I don't know what it could possibly be. I'm as dumbfounded as ever. I've talked about it for years and nobody seems to have any idea. Okay, so she lost her polka doll that I want to say Red gave to her three years ago. That's okay. We know where it is. Do -do 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 -do. 
it's in Vermilion. It's at the Pokemon Fan Club. Let's see, this was the fisherman's house, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> There it is. Excuse me, sir. Aw. I'd give you a Clefairy if the game would let me. Steven? What are you doing here? Latios! I forgot all about that. All right. I don't think we caught Latias and Sapphire, so we might want to go back and do that too. I don't think I did. I'll have to check. Ooh. Got the yawns today. You have your precious Clefairy doll back. I have a rail pass. Now I could come and go between Kanto and Johto as I please. Okay, now uh, that's not what I meant to do. I think we beat Sabrina last time. Yes, we did. That just leaves good old Brock, Blaine, and Blue. Okay, so that means now we can go through Diglett's Cave and head to uh, Pewter City. Let's do that. <laughs> Hmm. Also, while I'm thinking about it, um, let's see, Ampharos is the highest. We need to switch out for Skarmory. 95 degrees. Is that really how hot it is outside? Gee, 97. Yeah, it's way too hot to go outside. Um, I've been going out walking and getting my steps in every day, but I usually go later in the evening dusk you know uh let me pull that up fahrenheit to celsius <laughs> 97 is 36 degrees point or 36.111 degrees celsius so I'm not going outside. <laughs> I'm going to sit right here and hang out with you fine folk, and I'm going to play Pokemon. Mm. 
I played Pokemon Go from home today, wink wink, and um, I just couldn't be bothered to go out and play it anymore legitly. Niantic ran that game into the ground, but I did manage to get a handful of shiny Pokemon and take care of the tasks and stuff like that and do some raids. Wait, you know what? Actually, uh, while I'm thinking about it, do I have, uh, I do. Sweet, that'll help. Okay, good. Oh, we don't have that yet. Boy, they, they really screwed you by making rock climb the last thing you could do in this game. I think the trainers here on Route 1 might be some of the toughest. If memory serves. Let's find out. Burmy! Yeah, level 43. That's pretty tough for a trainer. Protect from that. <laughs> Butterfree? Butterfree. It's just so nice out there. The sun's out. Birds are chirping. Little butterflies are floating by. I want to go out there. But the heat. <laughs> it's just too much. It's too much, I tell you. You're asking entirely too much for one man. Do, do, do. Jigglypuff. Aw. They used to sing in the old games. Yeah, I've got to fight his gym trainers first. Camper Jerry. Level 50!
And I can't have that now, can I? Hammer arm. Boy, that did a lot. How could a kid have so much power? Okay. <laughs> I don't remember you. Did Brock's gym always have two gym trainers or was it just the one? get away with a dig before it can use earthquake or something smart Can't use roar again ah no stop oh not typhlosion we do not have the type advantage for this well, I guess you're so low health, it's not going to matter. Lane thrower. That's going to hurt regardless. Hey, what's up? Yay, I'm glad you made it. Pokemon shenanigans. Brock time. Let me make sure I'm all healed up. We're we gonna need Quagsire at full. Are you ready to go fight Brock? His own Rattler. Go, Skarmory. All right, Skarm. Hit him with a steel wing. Ooh, critical hit. I wonder why it did so much damage, because of course Skarmory is part flying, so rock the type rock attacks are going to hurt. But he's also part steel, so it should kinda, you know, nullify it somewhat. But if it's a critical hit, none of that matters. That's better. He didn't use a full restore. Way to go, Skarmory! You did it! Heracross has got some moves! <laughs> Let's see if we can't use those moves to our advantage. Alright, Heracross. Lay it on thick. Close combat!
Good job, Heracross. Onyx. We're going to stay the course. Hit him again. Close combat. Berry? Yep, citrus berry. All right. How is that going to affect us? Damn, I bet it was a critical hit, wasn't it? No. Nope. Go for it, Skarmory. You still win. <laughs> we missed the attack. Good job. Oh, that that did not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I thought it would do more. I mean, Onyx is rock. There it is. Not Sandstorm. Oh, that did not do a lot. Screw it. Garmory, come back. It's the level difference that's killing us here. All right, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to work against the old Quagsire here. You surf. You know, I also have an idea. We can get rid of that doggone sandstorm. The blue tops. I might regret this. Rain dance. Yep. Should have switched out. Back, sire, switch out. Go, and for us. Would you? Do, 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 do. Hang on to your butts. Use thunder. Now, how come he gets to go first? I can guarantee he's not faster than me. Star. Oh, I thought he had a Steelix. He doesn't have Steelix. Oh, snap. This is his last Pokemon. Oh, Ooh, okay. Why did that do that much damage? Oh, get fucked. Alright. You're going to be a toughie, aren't you? With that brine. I thought Brian did more damage if you were at half health. 
What's with this brine doing all this damage? Is it because it was raining? Oh lord help me Jesus. That did nothing. I wonder. No, can't catch the sun. <laughs> Skarmory! Not Skarmory! I'll fix your little red wagon. Worth it. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha you with a few smoke screens, so that was worth it if nothing else. Deluxe! It's almost like those smoke screens did nothing. All right, Quagsire. protect <laughs> okay you just you just simmer down <laughs> you go to sleep let me see if I can't heal some of my teammates oh I can't I don't have any revives earthquake it is Slumber party. How about you eat this? quick I'm so glad that does next to nothing to Quagsire I'm just gonna hit it with a surf and see what happens he is part rock it's got to do something. Earthquake. Boom, bitch. from Brock we did it that just leaves two or more do 
Let's check the museum. I want to know what it looks like. Cannot be carried away. The bones of a dragon. I guess there are dragons, aren't there? We have the dome fossil. Okay. Let's go. Heal up. better fellow sneeze come down Is pretty full. I just want to stay in pewter and listen to that music all day. <laughs> I don't even want to go out on the routes and fight the trainers. I just want to stay in pewter city and jam. All that. I didn't know fly would do so much damage. Ah, oh, come on. Also, don't let me forget to go shopping. We're out of everything. Eh. Hmm. How about just good old fashioned air slash? Okay, now see that that's a strategy. Yep, and I'm confused. Well, two could play at that game, pal. I didn't even get a chance to use Earthquake. Fascinating strategy this guy has. That's a foul play. Oh. 
Boom indeed. Alright, I gotta go blow my nose after we heal. That sneeze took it out of me. I'm not going to bother doing the uh, uh, be right back screen. It's only going to take like two seconds. I'll be right back. Focus. Oh, be all right back. Okay. We're healed up. Hmm. Two badges remain. Look at all those badges. Of course, we have a handful of trainers to fight before I think we'll get our next badge. Oh, shopping. I almost forgot to buy some stuff. First, actually, let's sell some stuff. Protein. Calcium. We have full heals now, so this does just taking up space in our bag. And getting in my way when I need to do stuff. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I do most of my streaming on Twitch, but sometimes I'll hop over here on YouTube and do random streams. I'm thinking about making a new schedule where I streamed on Twitch Monday through Friday and then stream on YouTube on the weekends. That might be fun. I don't know. I'm still learning about, you know, I'm still trying to figure out eh, what works for me and what works for everybody, you know? Let's see. How many do I have? We have plenty. I don't need any of those. I do need some revives. 11's plenty. I don't imagine I'm going to go down that often. We still have tons of full heal. Um, repel, on the other hand. We are going to be out on the open waters again. Heading down to... Um, Cinnabar Island. It took my brain a minute. Well, I want to cover all the Pokemon games on my channel. And we've done all of the new games. So now I'm just going back and retroactively playing catch up, you know? I actually did, uh, some years ago, I actually did Gen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I did all the Pokemon games, or at least one from each generation. I did like blue and silver and um sapphire or it may have been emerald and then i did like platinum and i did that years ago but those playthroughs were really bad the audio was bad the quality was bad not to mention i was always so sleepy every time i would stream um that i was just sleepwalking through most of those streams and not really talking much and there really wasn't an audience around to talk to so 
I opted to just kind of break down and, and redo all the Pokemon streams. Um, it, at the end of the day, I think it's more for my own gratification than it is like for an audience because most people that want to watch Pokemon on YouTube or whatever are going to be want, they're going to want fancy stuff. They're going to want Nuzlocks and stuff like that. And I tend not to do those. Like I'm literally just trying to shoot through the story element of each game. Oh yeah, I was going to go the other route. Eh, it's fine. I need to do both routes. This might be top tier Pokemon. Like the DS era, I believe, might have been Pokemon at its peak too. Because it's been a downhill spiral. It's been a downward spiral. Ever since the 3DS era. Not necessarily nostalgia for me. I mean, these games are nostalgic, yeah. I love the hell out of these games, but I'm not doing it just for nostalgia, no. I'm doing it so I'll have these playthroughs in my library, you know, forever. Because <laughs> we're hot off the heels of uh, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and I played those on the channel already, so... So you forget a move. We can get rid of Fury Attack. I mean, it. What's Fury Attack gonna do? Pikachu! I think nostalgia really goes with the territory though anytime you're playing anything that's not brand new there's a lot of people hold these games in high regard and again rightfully so these games are f again probably the peak of pokemon agility go ahead waste a turn pikachu Well, I thought it would do a little more than that. That's on me, though. It varies depending on the day and the game we're playing. And an hour minimum. My streams are at least an hour minimum. I would say at max, usually about two or three hours. Um, I... I People do ask that frequently, though, and I always tell them I, I don't have a set schedule, you know. I just, uh, whenever IRL allows, you know, time to sit down and stream, take it. Like today, I had nothing going on. I, I'm so bored this afternoon. So I said, you know what? I've got time. Let's sit down and play some Pokemon. We've been working on this playthrough now for this last year, and I can't have that anymore. I bet off more than I could chew. My idiot tail started like 18 playthroughs all at once without finishing one of them. So I've been trying to go through and finish games before starting a bunch of new ones. And I appreciate the sub, by the way. I definitely could use more subscribers. We somehow managed to beat a Pikachu with a flying time. Ah! This <laughs> Psyduck is looking more and more like me. Just failed to beat Ditto.
Hakuna. I guess a wild Pokemon is still going to be lower level. What's that? Never heard of that. Well, his Pokemon aren't that high of a level. 28. As opposed to the level 40s we've been fighting and Brock was 50 something. Another low level Kakuna. Okay. Level 38 Kakuna. At this point, you had to specifically go out of your way to keep it from evolving to Beedrill for a long time. May I ask why? <laughs> You know, that's going back to what I was saying earlier, too. You know, like I said, a lot of times people people don't really care that much about the vanilla playthroughs. They don't really care about the vanilla game. They want to see mods, ROM hacks, um, um, stuff like that. Yeah, I gotta imagine, level 38. I don't know though, I mean, the type advantage, you're still gonna be able to blow it away with fire type, with flying type, you know, it's, it may have a high physical defense, but that special defense is gonna be wide open. Like, look at this, level 52 Metapod. See, it is surviving barely, but it's still surviving. Fifty six again. Okay. Level 60.
Yeah, I do come across that sometimes too. They really try to make you use more moves than you need to. Here we go. Here's a Pokemon can actually fight back. Let's see what spin around our area dose does. But a lot of times in Pokemon games, the NPCs just burn turns too. They'll use stuff like agility or whatever. Case of point. <laughs> they just burn turns. It doesn't help them at all. Also, let me look. Skarmory's at 43 now. When we started off today, Skarmory was level 40, so we really haven't gone up by much. Weedle! Anybody on my team could learn that. Ah, I did not mean to do that. I'll tell you what we do need to do though. Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? There you are. Yeah, the spam attacks get on my nerves too. Especially with like a gym leader or the elite four. They get you in that tight spot where all you can do is heal every turn. Then you know you're screwed. Mm. Mm. I have got the yawns today. Oh, the sun. The sun's coming in. It is refreshing to see these old Pokemon, though. It's gotten to the point where we hardly see Butterfree anymore. Like I said earlier, it's so pretty outside. If it just weren't so deathly hot. It's 97 degrees here. Fahrenheit. 36 Celsius. I don't want to go out in that. <laughs> Justice for the Butterfree. You'll pay for taking down Butterfree. Hmm. Eh, let's just leave the forest. Like I said before, it's um, for me, it's either between Gen 2 or Gen 5. Those are my two favorites. Oh, here we go. Another bug catcher. We should start getting out of all the bug catchers now. Should be getting into regular trainer territory. Get him, Skarm.
<laughs> yeah, you want to trade weather? <laughs> I know where you are. I know what temperature it is where you are. Ariados. Actually, I'm enjoying summer. It's just... A little rain now and then wouldn't hurt. We haven't traded phone numbers in a long time. Okay. Should be getting into... Nope, there is yet another. You know what? We're going to switch out. Skarmory to... How about... Quagsire. No real reason, just because... Old Quaggy here is pretty fun. <laughs> it's a sensible 83 here. Yeah, I know. Okay, 83 is not super bad. Okay, it seems to have gone down a little bit. When I first started streaming, my watch told me that it was 97 degrees. I'm waiting on it to update. Okay, now it says 93 degrees. So it's gone down a little. This is the time of the day that's perfect for getting out and walking too. But I've been having to go out and walk around sunset because it's just too much. It's too much. <laughs> the sun. Okay, I'll just lean in like this for now. Hopefully this is the last bug catcher guy we got. We can move on. Yeah, I appreciate any of you guys that came in and you're new and you subscribed. I've, I've been on YouTube for seven years now. I don't really have any subscribers really to speak of. I started doing Twitch about four or five years ago, too. And everything that I do on Twitch gets uploaded on YouTube. Um, but I have a very old school way of doing my streams, you know, um, or a very old school way of doing my content. Because I'm, I'm middle-aged at this point, so I grew up on television. So the way that I end up structuring my content on YouTube comes off a little bit TV like in a way it's by design um, but in a TikTok world it's not exactly grabbing people's attention you know and I think that's what my content suffers a lot from that and I don't do the classic youtuber thing I don't um, I don't do quick edits I don't do like funny edits I don't do stuff like that I kind of just Come on, hang out for a bit and call it a day. But I'll take my little tiny subscriber count. Uh, yeah, sort of say account. I'll take my little subscriber count because it's a cozy little group of folks. Alternatively, I think I would probably have too big of a panic attack. Like, I think it would be too much. I can't imagine. Some of these streamers are really like. I have to, they impress me with the way they handle a large audience that come in, you know, every day they do that too. They, they toggle a chat that just constantly scrolls. I don't know how they do it. It's impressive. It really is. I have tons of social anxiety and I'm still here with just a few people, you know? Um, but yeah, that, that's really impressive when they do that. The screener house. 
Okay, I think this is where all of the trainers come to when you call them for rematches. Like in this game, you can call all of the gym leaders for a rematch, and I think this is where they show up to do it. If I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, it's it's there. I I've been propositioned a couple of times on Instagram and other places to buy subscribers and I keep telling them no. I block them and they just keep coming back. I I get a lot of uh of emails and stuff asking me if I want artwork done and um channel banner work done and emojis done and things like that and i will get emails from time to time that's like why don't you buy some views and buy some likes and buy some subscribers and it's like how about no that would defeat the purpose of being here not to mention there's this the issue of dead subscribers at that point like, the algorithm's not going to recommend you to more people if the people that are already subscribed aren't watching or interacting. The algorithm's going to look at you and see, like, <laughs> yeah, nobody that is subscribed is watching. Why would I recommend you to more? So, yeah, I don't get that. Then the other day, I got hit with, um, on threads, I'm starting to get hit with the sub for sub people. They're messaging me, and they're like, hey, would you follow me if I follow you? Ignore. Meganium! Oh, this is not a good matchup. Maybe I can finagle my way into using Yawn. I am so sorry, Quagsire. Get him, Typhlosion. Meganium is so pretty. I kind of wish I had a little garden of my own, but I don't know the first thing about gardening or taking care of plants. <laughs> the few house plants that I've had over the years, they all die. Of course, there are apps now that you can get that you can like just take a picture on your phone and it'll tell you what your plant needs to survive. So I've been thinking about maybe trying to raise another indoor plant. And then if that goes well, I would like to do a garden. Of course, money is the other object. I, I'm a broke bitch, so I don't, uh, don't really have any extra money to sink into a, a passing project like that right now. Maybe eventually. Maybe when it doesn't cost $100 for a loaf of bread. I can't use items here. Oh, uh oh. Yeah, Typhlosion might be my favorite starter. You know, I'll always be partial to Blastoise for being my first, but being my first doesn't make you my favorite. I think Typhlosion's my favorite. Crap. Oh, that's just dirty. withdrew on me <sighs> all right typhlosion we did what we could i kind of botched this That's highly possible. I wouldn't doubt it. 
buying something on eBay and then the next thing you know gold it shows up in your your YouTube feed I made the switch yesterday I couldn't handle Google anymore I was trying to find some wallpaper for Kirby and the Forgotten Land because I wanted to make a thumbnail. And when I Googled it, I got a whole bunch of bullshit results that were just advertisements. Like the whole first page of Google was just ads. So I went over to DuckDuckGo. Wouldn't you know the first result that I find is exactly the thing that I'm looking for. <laughs> Sorry, Google. You're out. And I've been using Google Chrome now for a few years, but I oh, I made the switch to Vivaldi yesterday, um, which is made by the people who made Opera originally before they sold Opera. Because I used to really love Opera browser. Um, so I gave Google Chrome the boot as well. And, like, I'm torn on the whole privacy issue. Part of me doesn't want companies selling my, you know, user data. And the other half of me is like, well, I got nothing to hide. What, what do I care? You know what I mean? So I'm torn on it. The same as I would be with cops. Like, if a cop was like, I need to search your car or your house, my first instinct is, whatever gets you out of my face quicker, come on in. But it's, my better judgment is like, nah, get your warrant. Sorry, Charlie. So, I'm torn. You know, especially like in a post-9-11 world, everybody has your data whether you like it or not. Like, we're basically toting around a, a device in our pocket at all time that, that just feeds our data to them, so. What can you do? Can we talk about how useless the internet is now unless you have like five ad blocks on? When I did switch over yesterday, before I reinstalled uh, all the extensions or installed them onto the new browser, I had to go and look some stuff up in between. Websites are unusable without ad blocker. I was so shocked. I didn't realize how bad it had gotten because I've been using ad blockers now for so many years that like, I was actually kind of taken aback by how bad it was we beat him i don't know how but we managed uh i beat you cal i used to like fighting him in gold and silver it was pointless but fun <laughs> Did the game heal me or do I need to heal? Oh, the game healed me. Okay. On to Pallet Town, I guess. I just want to enjoy this music for a minute. Well, thanks, Erwin. You ruined... <laughs> you threw off my groove. Yeah, I probably should be using the amulet coin, shouldn't I? Unless I am already. No. No. She's holding the quick claw. I could have swore I gave somebody the amulet coin. 
All right, I'm not worried about it. Ferret! Eat an earthquake, Ferret. Well, the sun's behind the trees now, so that's good. Pidget, huh? Pidget! Alright, if he's gonna use Pidget, I'm gonna use Ampharos. That's not a move I expected an NPC to use. I'm a little shocked. bird Pokemon so cool I think birds in general are just cool school kid Denny a jinx I uh I didn't see that coming. Why wake up slap? I wasn't asleep. You're about to be. Okay, see, I didn't think Earthquake was going to take her out like that, or I would have just done that from the get. Oh, Magmar, though. You're going down. You know, Magmar's design is cooler than it has any right to be. I like old Magmar. Of course, I'm nostalgic for Gen 1 sprites, obviously, because that was my first, but still. Try to be impartial to each generation. Unlike a lot of people out there, I actually don't think there was one generation of Pokemon I didn't like the designs for. There were a few times I got a little goofy. <laughs> the comments were made, but, you know, thinking back on it, I don't think I hated any one generation of Pokemon. Design wise, Game Freak is, um, they pretty much talked about how they want Pokemon to go on for hundreds of years, if not longer. That's bold. That's bold to assume that we're gonna be around for that much longer, but okay. I mean, I'm down for that. We won't be here, but. I do think it's a cool concept to pass your Pokemon down to the next generation. Yeah, see, that's another thing too. Like, even if you buy full restores and potions and stuff, you have to worry about running out of PP. You have to worry about having enough ethers and elixirs and stuff like that. And uh, that's where the berries really come in, Flutch. Is it, especially, let's say you're in the Elite Four and it's down to the wire and they've got you pinned up against the wall and you're healing every other turn and then you just need to belt out that one last Earthquake or Ice Beam or something. Uh-oh, what's this? You don't have any left. Thankfully, you got a berry in your pocket. 
It saved me a bunch over the years having a berry. Okay, Absol. Trying to poke through the trees? I am getting tired. Ooh. Sometimes my jaw pops and it hurts. Because I'm. Yeah, the, the trainers leading down to, to Pallet Town are going to be tough. Not psychic. Not like this. Let's not end today like this. <laughs> not the psychics. Just a little more. Hang in there, Steelix. Damn, it knows Focus Blast. Are you kidding me? Help me, Everos. We're in trouble. beginning to wonder if we were going to make it down to Pallet Town in one piece. There's, there's There are other trainers left. You know what? <laughs> Let's go back and heal. Because... Oh, God. Oh, by the way, since some of you guys are new here, um, like I said earlier, when I stream on Twitch, I usually add an intro and an outro cut it down for time if need be and then I upload it to YouTube usually the next day since I don't really ever stream on YouTube and this is kind of a new venture I do delete the VOD once it's over because I record while streaming and I would rather the the HD clean copy go up on YouTube so I delete the VOD of this one roughly a couple of minutes after we're done here but it'll get processed edited and put back up probably tomorrow night because tomorrow mornings usually i i usually release all my stuff 10 a.m central time and 10 p.m central time why the tens just a holdover from when i started um i had worked second shift and i was used to coming home at 10 o'clock at night having dinner kicking my shoes off I got in the routine of watching YouTube before I'd go to bed and it really was just a holdover from an old schedule that I don't have anymore. So for seven years, I just release everything on the tens and um, I just never changed it. Um, so I always just say I have two time slots. Um, I do put out more content than it, than it is reasonable for any one subscriber to digest. I'm aware of that. Um, but I always tell people when they bring that up, it's there in perpetuity. Like the content doesn't go anywhere unless there's an emergency, like somebody gets docks or something. It, it never happens. I'm just saying it, it, there would need to be some big circumstance for an episode to get pulled. Um, like I said, I, I still in my mind treats it like I'm doing TV, even though I'm just some dude sitting at his computer playing a game. It's just a holdover from, you know, 
Growing up in the 90s. Growing up on the telly. Tomorrow, uh, we should be streaming um, more Chrono Trigger. We're working our way through that. Oh, this is not a good match. So, it's my YouTube channel, right? And typically, it's usually just me sitting here recording something or streaming something here or on Twitch. But occasionally, once in a blue moon, I will get my Discord group together and we'll do some Mario Kart or Mario Party or something. But my best friend will sometimes do a, a playthrough for the channel. So, like, he's playing Chrono Trigger and I'm just kind of there watching, but it's, um, we're both there. There's a face cam for both of us. We're both there with our commentary, but he is the one physically playing it. Um, cause outside of Pokemon, I really don't do RPGs. I, not a big fan of them. I get bored easy. I'm very smooth brained. I, uh. I'm like a child. I need something shiny to distract me. <laughs> Darmy. My first instinct is use Ampharos, but we've used Ampharos for so much lately. Let's see if we can actually use Heracross. See if old Harold, my buddy, my pal, my friend. Get in there, muscle my I got hit with Confuse Ray. We do have Shadow oh, Claw. I'm glad I had faith in you, Heracross. That was the right decision to make. I should have done that more often. Yeah, Heracross isn't getting used enough. You know what? I'm bumping you up in rotation. Pallet Town! Let's pop in and visit old Professor Oak. So he wants us to headbutt trees. Yeah, we uh, we ported all our Pokemon over from the Leaf Green playthrough and the Pokemon from the Sapphire playthrough. So now we just need to go and hunt down all of the Johto Pokemon. Then we'll play through... Uh... I'm thinking about Platinum. Because we did Shining... No, not Shining Pearl. We did Brilliant Diamond. Now... I've always been a blue version guy. I was blue version. My friend was red version. So I did blue, silver, sapphire, etc. But we changed things up. When it came to diamond and pearl, he had he chose diamond and was pretty adamant about it. So I ended up choosing pearl. And diamond and pearl was also the first time where I had made a, a couple of new friends that were playing Pokemon. So they were... Everybody was choosing their own versions. Everybody was snatching up Diamond and Pearl. So I ended up choosing Pearl, you know, that generation's red version, I guess. So that was kind of the first um, switch up for me. But I'm thinking... Thinking we'll do Platinum. Um, after we get done with Soul Silver. 
Part of me wants to just skip Sinnoh completely and jump straight to black and white because I love them so much, but I can't do it. I got to go through platinum. We need to work on our Pokedex for platinum as well. That's a thing I need to do. Got a call from Wade on Route 31. Yeah, the delay, I've noticed that the delay on YouTube streams can be wild. Um, I don't know if that's on my end or their end. Because, like, when I watch another YouTuber stream, the, the delay isn't that long. But when I stream, the delay is pretty long. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what. I don't know. But... I think this is what we're going to call it for today. This is the second stream I've done today, actually. So let me save. Like I said, we'll be back tomorrow. My friend and I, we're still working our way through Chrono Trigger. And then Monday, we'll be back with Kirby and the Forgotten Land over on Twitch. We'll be doing a little bit of Animal Crossing as well. We might bring Animal Crossing back over here to the YouTube side. I don't know. I got to figure out my schedule. So just bear with me while I figure all that out. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Thank you to everybody who is new and subscribed. I greatly appreciate it. I seem to be gaining actual subscribers on YouTube as opposed to Twitch. So if this is like how it's going to be going forward, maybe I may just start streaming on YouTube indefinitely. Cough, cough, wink, wink. Again, I don't want a million subscribers or anything like that. But I do want a little more than what I have, you know. So we'll work towards that. All right. See you, folks.